All right, guys, we're back with another video. Today we have a 2015 Mazda 6, the 2.5 liter engine. We're gonna do a uh, fuel injector clean because this is direct injection. It does require some maintenance. So what we wanna do is relieve the pressure and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So to relieve the pressure, we're gonna be using the scanner here. You don't need a scanner, but what you can do is pull out the fuse under the hood. So right now we're just gonna connect it to the OBD port. And what you're gonna do is, you're not gonna start the car all the way. What we're gonna do is have it on, engine off, and we're gonna auto detect it to get our VIN number. As soon as you get to this menu, what you wanna do is uh, active test. And what I'm gonna do here is turn off the fuel pump with the scanner to relieve the pressure that we have. Okay, so we'll go to fuel pump. Okay, fuel level, fuel pump. Okay, and what we wanna do is turn it off. And now that it's off, we can start it. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna run out of gas right now, and it's gonna turn off. Okay, now that we're out of gas, now we can go to our engine bay. So we have a injector cleaner here. This is an awe tool that I got off Amazon. Nothing fancy, but it works quite well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here where our fuel enters a high pressure fuel pump. And here we have our line that goes directly in there. You're gonna take off that clip and then you'll pull it out. You're still gonna have a little bit of gas. What you're gonna do is you'll find the correct um, fuel line fitting. And as soon as you match one up, this one simply clicks on. Once you got the right fitting, you'll just screw it onto your um, injector cleaner, and then you'll push it on. And what we're gonna do here is, we are gonna open up our can. And what you wanna do is fill the canister up. So I got my funnel here. And we are just going to pour our product down. Made kind of a mess. Once we got that in, go ahead and close it. And here we're going to start with no pressure. So, you want your airline and make sure everything's closed, especially this one. What you're gonna do is connect it. From here, you're gonna regulate the pressure. I like to go about 40 to 50 PSI. See how that's moving? That's about good there. Click it. You're gonna open this valve slowly. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Once things are set, now you can start the car. But make sure your fuel pump is still off. Now with the fuel pump off, there's no gas coming out of here and you're running the vehicle on the cleaner. Once the vehicle shuts off, you know you've run out of the cleaner. And that's essentially all you really do. Okay, you will start hearing the engine start sputtering. And that's because our uh, injector cleaner is running low. So it will turn off in just a second here. I'm just gonna turn off the car now. I don't wanna keep sputtering it too much. So what you do from here is disconnect your airline 
what you want to do is relieve the pressure here. And you want to relieve the pressure here just so in case there's any uh, fuel left, um, it won't make a mess. So once you get the pressure all the way out, now you can disconnect this line. And what I'm gonna do here is uh, turn the fuel pump back on. Now that you got your line on, just gonna, you're gonna hear it cycle. And then I'll go ahead, turn it off again. And then I'll turn it on again, just so we can purge it. It might have a little bit uh, of a struggle turning on, but now I'm gonna exit this screen and we're gonna start it up. Okay, so once your car's on, let it run for a little bit and that's it. You should be good to go there. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer all your questions you got. Um, consider subscribing, share, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks.